Good morning, Thelma, or hello, Monday. And here's the deal. I'm going to talk fast. You know, Thelma, I want you to watch me because I've said to myself, I need to pay attention to my content. And that's the most important thing, to have interesting, relative content. And I sat around all morning and I've been really sad about the Kobe Bryant thing. And of course, the whole world is sad about the Kobe Bryant thing. But I then thought about, oh my God, his parents are still alive. Oh my God, what, how would I, if that were my child. And so my heart opens instantly to their parents. And then I Googled them. And I see that they did not go, they did not attend Kobe's wedding. And I get it. His mother thought maybe, maybe, you know, my son is going into the NBA and he's young and he's fine. And then there's this girl who wants to marry him and she's only 18 years old. And, you know, I might have had a problem with that gold digger thing too. And they boycotted the wedding. But here we are all these years later and Kobe and his 18 year old bride have stayed together and they have four beautiful children and they have lasted through uh, that whole rape thing, you know, so they are strong. So what I want to say to you Thelma is don't ever, don't ever boycott what your children are doing even if you don't agree with it don't ever because there's gonna come a time when you wish you hadn't and all the kids know is either you stood by them or you didn't it doesn't matter that you had a good reason it doesn't matter that that guy was an asshole or even abusive that doesn't matter what matters is that you stand by your child and whatever it is your child wants to do, you support them.